month. It is now $13 a month. It comes with five sample size items. And let me show you what I got. It is really hard for me to tell like the difference between what comes to my Glam Bag Plus and my Glam Bag because they mix it all together in the box. And they usually put these items in here. But some of it was mixed together. So for this month's Ipsy Glam Bag, November 2021, it's all about the royal treatment. Your throne awaits lather on ultra moisturizing formulas, adorn with accessories, and indulge in extra dessert because this month, it's all about you, baby. And that's why they have the whole, um, this is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus it comes with. It has this little crown and heart star that's cute and this is this i think this is cute i think this is one of the cuter bags i've seen all right so we have our glam bag these retail for 13 dollars and we got this sophie mabel this is a lip oil and this is in the shade jellyfish it's a tinted lip oil and then we got let me go ahead and try this on so this is the shade I'm not a big fan of the applicator, so I did things a little different this time. I decided to try on the makeup this time before I did this. So a lot of the makeup I'm wearing on my face is from this box, but not all of it. So I haven't tried this on yet, so let's go ahead and try this on. So it has a like vanilla sugar kind of taste. It's not too oily. I'm not a big fan of the applicator though, but it's cute. So there's our first item for a glam bag. Our second item we got is the Kinship Mint Mud Pore Deep Pore Detox Mask. So it says a power pack clay mask that unclogs pores, balances oil, and smooths skin. So this is what it looks like. And sorry guys, I just painted all my nails and did the dishes and they've already chipped. So this is the rose hip mint mud mask right here i did try this out on my face yesterday you know it does take time before you can tell a difference on products like this um the next thing we got second thing or the third thing see i'm so confused i can't tell which is for my glam bag and my glam bag plus so this is the next item we got and I've been using this. This is what I was wearing on my lips when I started the video here. And this is probably my favorite product in the box. So this is how it came packaged because I opened it up. I think the packaging is stunning. This is El Maquillage. I got their mascara in my Glam Bag Plus last month. And I really liked it. And I use it a lot. And so this is the packaging. It comes in nice sleek packaging. It says El Maquillage. And so you open it. And this is, I think it's beautiful. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you guys can see all the indentions. It's got little like crisscrosses in it. Beautiful color. And I, I'm wearing that on my lips now, so I'm not going to add it. I just added the lip oil over it. And even cooler, look at this. It's magnet. Ooh. I like that. <laughs> so this is in the shade Dirty Talk and it is super creamy and pigmented. I really like this. So we got three items so far and we have this eye cream. You know, I, I perform more makeup products. I don't get to make my picks because I get this for free in PR, but I really wish they wouldn't do eye creams every single month because I just got one last month. Like I only need like an eye cream like once every three or four months. So we had the Briago Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. So you put this in your hair for like 10 minutes and wash it out. And I did use it on my hair last night. And it smells really, really good. And I made my hair really, really smooth and baby soft. It has rose hips, sweet almond, and argon oils with vitamin BS and biotin to revitalize dry, damaged hair while protecting against future damage shine and moisture are enhanced so hair looks and feels healthier and stronger and i could use that because i dye my hair and i use the flat iron on my hair a lot so that is it for our glam bag plus so let's go ahead and move on to the glam bag plus so it was 25 dollars a month as of last month it is now 28 dollars a month 
and you get six full-size items so we have the superb strain shampoo refreshments tart lavender shampoo so i did use this last night and it smells really great um, the only thing was when I put it on my hair, it didn't really feel lathering, like that lathering effect. And good shampoo really has lathering. Like I know a lot of like natural shampoos really don't have that lathering effect and doesn't seem like it really moisturizes my hair as much as you know I'm, what I mean. You know, it's like I put it in my hair and my hair almost feels the same or worse afterwards. And my hair, once I got my hair wet, it lathered really good, smelled really good. So I enjoyed the shampoo and then it came with a matching conditioner. This is usually what people get when they sign up for refreshments and they send you either lotions. I'm happy I got the shampoo and conditioner because I saw someone else get the lotion. I've had the lotion several times before. But it, you got the superb strength conditioner. It's in the same scent, tart lavender and this is the ipsy brand ipsy refreshments and you know i don't really get too many hair products in my ipsy flag so i'll take it so we got the shampoo and conditioner as the first two products and also another thing just to keep note if you did get this conditioner you need to keep this in your hair for two to five minutes before you rinse i'm glad i read the back of it before i did it because you know most conditioners unless they're leaving conditioner put it in your hair and wash it right out and this, you gotta keep it in for a minute. So it kind of does a, like a deep conditioning effect. My hair felt like it was deep conditioned. That's before I put the deep conditioner in it. So like I said, I enjoy this. Um, the next thing is the Ipsy Refreshments, which is the Ipsy brand. This is a dazzling five blade razor kit. This is where I got a bone to pick. So I opened this up right out the box. Carefully opened it up. I'm like, ooh. Look what happened. So I got a razor, right? It's a nice razor. It's nice and thick. And it came with this thing. So I can put it like, I guess so you can hang it like, you know, in your bathroom or whatever. But I didn't get the razor or the cartridges. It didn't come with it. And I looked everywhere. I was like, is it in here? I looked all in the box. And I literally took it right out the box opened it and it was empty and i was like what the heck so i can't even use this because i don't have the razor part or the cartridges and since i got this in pr i'm pretty sure they're not going to send me another one so that's like kind of frustrating because you know that seems like a nice razor and i would really really like to use it now it's just going to go to waste unless i buy like this part in the Unless I buy the razor and the blade. So that's just a little frustrating, like I said. The next thing we have is we have these hair ties. It comes, uh, these are scrunchies, one, two, three, four, five. You have five different neutral colors of scrunchies. And the next thing we got, this is a Thrive Orchid Stem Cell Complex Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. And I just got a mascara last month, so I'm like, another mascara. But this mask, look at this packaging. Like, girl. Beautiful packaging, nice thick packaging. Let's go ahead and look at the wand. And I really like the wand. I use this on my eyes and I love it, especially my under eyes. I think this is now my favorite mascara. I like it better than my Too Faced, better than Sex Mascara, honestly. I have a Glossier Milk Jelly Cleanser Conditioning Face Wash right here. And I got the same brand in my box last month. And it was like a exfoliating skincare thing. And I really liked it. So this is a milk jelly cleanser. I did use it on my face and it really did moisturize my face. It wasn't too oily. So I like this so far. I have to keep using it and see if it makes a difference on my face. The next thing we got is the Camelina and Strobe Luminizing Primer. This is by Seraphine Botanicals. Let's see if I can move my light so you guys can see this better. Okay guys, so our last product, we have this is here. an Ipsy palette. So this is Nomad Venice Simplon Express palette. It says velvety eyeshadows formulated with extra fine pigments for rich color and luxurious feel. Infused with frankincense oil to help color stay smooth and crease proof. This is supposed to be like a carry-on eyeshadow palette to be able to fit into your carry-on. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, I have fingerprints on it because I did use it because I wanted to be able to use most of the products before so I could give you guys 
talk to you guys about my experience. This is how it looks on the back. So this, look it up, open it up. And this Venice Simple and Express. There isn't a mirror. And here are the colors. So you get one, two, three, four, five. You get five shimmers and you get four mattes. There's a nine pan palette. The only thing is I am not a fan of this color story. This color story is just a little bit confusing for me. Maybe people who are like super into color. Like I'm more into colors than neutrals. Like I used to be more like just to wear my typical brown and neutrals. But I've really been embracing colors lately. And I don't know. These I can make these colors work together, but it's just a little bit confusing to me. I did use this on my eye. I went in with the Venice shade right here. I did try to use it with a brush, and it did not really show up with a brush, so I had to go in on my fingers, and this is what I used right here. And then I used this nightcap right here. And, like, some of the imprints are funny. Like, you got a mustache. Like, why would they use a mustache? But whatever floats your boat so they have a mustache i use this little um nightcap in my corner and it i did put my eyeshadow on about a few about three hours ago i can still see this color pretty good but this color is starting to fade and it just wasn't as dark as i was wanting it to be and but besides that it seemed to blend pretty good it just wasn't super pigmented and so then I went with this pink like on top of my eye and it did have a very beautiful um, sparkle to it and then I used the blue underneath my eye and let me just feel this real quick so here is a swatch let me see Of the gold so I don't know like it worked for me but I just don't feel as like beautiful as I normally do and I just confused about the color story like I said so that's it for this video that is my ipsy glam bag and glam bag plus if you would like if you would like to purchase one, just go to ipsy.com. You can sign up today. Um, I think it's a good deal overall. I am glad I didn't get like half skincare like I usually get. I'm glad I, I think I got a good variety this month. I just sort of went without. Besides what happened with the razors and the eye cream again. I think this is a decent box. It's not as good as my box last month i really enjoyed that i got a lot of makeup last month but i do have to say like my favorite product out of this whole box is this lipstick it is absolutely beautiful but i'm not too keen on the palette so i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm gonna give you guys my honest final thoughts so that's it for this video let me know your thoughts have you ordered a ipsy glam bag for this month have you got it let me know in the comments below and what did you think about my bags that i got this month and what did you get in your bag did you get the same items or did you get a different variation and were you happy with it sound off in the comments below make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe and thank you so much for watching